Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be taking a listen to the new Solos of the Sea solo violin A by Performance Samples. Now, Performance Samples has been on my ones to watch list. Just about every single thing that this developer has been releasing has blown me away. And with the Solos of the C solo violin A, this is the first instrument in the Solos of the C series with active bow sustains and legatos recorded in that Kanmoto style with motion. Library downloads as 175 megabytes. What? Yeah, only 175 megabytes. Sample set from a soloist recorded in a hall with stereo close miking. One mic position there with uh, one dynamic layer. Bow change con moto legato and active bow sustains and release samples are included. Does require the full version of Contact 5.5.1 or higher and normally sells for 139 US dollars. Reading these specs, this sounds like something from 10 years ago that would be released until you listen to this library. I've got it pulled up now. You can see there's one NKI, very little uh, that you can control except for changing your dynamic CC. Right now I've got it set to one and uh, got a legato button turned on. So here we go. Let's check it out. That is impressive. There's so much life to that. Uh, not to mention the sample quality. You hear that. You hear that bow. You almost hear that. The hair on the bow. All those nice overtones. trill there quickly. Uh, the other thing to note about this library, which I noticed in the uh, material, is it actually needs to be performed um, or programmed with a 140 millisecond, uh, I believe that's what they said, uh, 140 millisecond offset because um, the advanced programming they used uses uh, it uses all of the information, not just at the heart of the attack, the hard hit of the attack, I should say. I can even hear some um, open note resonance there. It almost sounds like when the player actually plays, sometimes they'll lift their finger up and you get a tiny boom, a little bit of a resonance of the open string. You hear that? And I'm just controlling uh, my dynamics with uh, the MIDI CC1 and then MIDI CC11 for my um, overall volume. See how this thing plays quickly. You 
Yeah, I think I need to clean my up playing up a little bit to make sure I get the overlaps there because it does. Um, when you do have that little bit of space, you can. Yeah, with the overlap, I like it. So with this uh, MIDI CC1 controlling our actual expression, we know that that has to be programmed in because the uh, developers told us that this is recorded with one dynamic layer. So this is a simulated um, expression, which I'm finding very believable. What do you guys think? Do you think this CC1 is believable? The other question I have here, uh, this goes to, this goes down to A, G, it goes down to G, I'm sorry. How does that legato sound when on the lowest string there? Yeah, it simulates a nice legato, even the low strings. I know sometimes that's a, uh, a weakness of solo instruments. And it's got uh, this active bowed sustain, so if I just hold a note... You can hear it sounds pretty natural um, because the uh, bow isn't repeating or looping in any way that we'd see, well, we'd hear uh, that this is a sample playback. Um, okay, this video is pretty short and sweet. We got one sample and one bit here. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to do something I normally don't do. I want to record a little bit and, and play with this instrument. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, play with this and record a little and share the experience of what happens. There we go. That was a decent little performance, Don. Nice work. And now uh, the first thing I want to do is make sure and um, set up that offset that the developer recommended. Just double checking. I believe it's 140 milliseconds. Okay. So in my logic track, I want to go to my delay and make sure it's in milliseconds. And here, put 140. Is that correct? Or do I put 140 this way? Yep, 
it was the negative. All right. And then let's check out, let's get this up here. I want to see what happens when I go in and clean up, clean up my mess. And the first thing is the expression. Here we go. Yeah, I got a little bit of Here we go. Need to let that get come up. There we go. And then I missed my overlap there. That's a little awkward, don't you think? It's okay if it's a little rushed. I just want it to be a little more fluid. Much better. This guy's a little rushed still. There we go. That's probably too much. And this, you know what? I'm just going to have this be a simulated uh, kind of right here with my expression. And then have him jump back up in here. So, something like that. Just gonna, so this is simulating just a little bit more pressure on the bow. Because there's, uh, instead of an actual stop. And that's nice for the attack, but it's too hard there. And there we go. Yeah, nice. All right, let's listen back to our work. See how realistic this sounds. Yeah, that sounds really nice overall. I'm pretty pleased with that. I think I'm probably going to rearrange a little bit of this section, give a little bit more motion, but overall I'm really loving the sound of this library. It does one thing and it does it arguably a lot better than many, many, if not most other libraries out there on the market. What do you guys think? Uh, are you agreeing with me? Do you think uh, Performance Samples is knocking these out of the park by making specific, purposeful instruments that perform more realistically than what our other options are? Because I kind of do. I'd love to see uh, what you guys think as well. Thanks for checking out the video. I uh, always love your support. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please comment below. Um, let me know what you think about the library. Like, share, and subscribe. I'd love your support. Be sure to head over to samplelibrarywreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.